Hey you guys. I um uh, sorry. <laughs> but uh this is my master sword that me and my papa were working with. Uh the other week week. Uh hang on. Uh, yep. This is it. Uh I haven't done a video on it yet, but um uh, Yes, this is the Master Sword. Um That's my door. Uh -huh. Um This is the design, the gem. And my hand and the garb and stuff. Um, but this is not what the video is about today. Sure, it's for it, but not about it. This is what it's about. Um, right here, we're going to set this on. I decided to do it over the, not on top of the gym, but over it. So it's like this, sits out, and I have some extra stuff right here. Um, once upon a time is on. Uh, anyway, this is the Master Sword. This is what I'm going to use for it to hold. And I'm going to get some... Uh, possibly some, oh my God. I don't know, something to put on here to where a belt could fit on it and I could hold it on my back. Um, I have a cardboard Highland Shield. Let me pause the video and go get it so you can see. So this is my Highland Shield. Um, fits pretty well. I ripped off a piece of old shirt and used that. A lot of duct tape. So here it is. This is it fits really good, but beware it could start ripping. Uh, yes, I know. I have a thumbtack right there. But I don't know why. I just set it there. Um. And I know it doesn't look exactly like the Highland Shield from the game, and I'm pretty sure you're gonna say, oh, well, this guy didn't have it exactly how I wanted it. Who cares? Who watches this junk anyway? But no, that's not the case. The thing is, is that my printer over here, well, not mine, it's actually my mom's, but anyway, my printer over here wouldn't print a whole entire shield as big as I wanted it or as big as the actual shield is so I just decided to get some newspaper and um, you know draw out the shield and cut it out right and then I took um, some marker and scribbled across the outlines of the newspaper and it got the shape of the shield. Um, hey, stop so, slapping yeah. me. Alright, um, so yeah, this, basically we're doing a video on this. I have it cut out. I want to have another piece just like this cut out. I'm gonna have to measure and stuff. Or maybe just take a marker like I did with the newspaper and stuff and do the same. And just you know, scribble, scrabble and get it on the cardboard. Then I'm going to make some strips and I'm going to stick it on the two. And I'm going to fit it on the blade and have that. But after I'm done with that, make sure that fits, I'm going to take. A, like some blue construction paper put it around here print out the design uh, trace it on the construction paper I don't know how I'm going to do that but um yeah um 
If you're doing this as a tutorial, that's okay. I don't mind. Um. <clears throat> Let's see, right here, I'm going to measure it. It's two and three fourths inches long. The thing is 34 inches long. I don't even need to measure that because I know the blade length. But yeah, two and three fourths. Um, yeah. So that's how thick it should be and 34 inches long. I know the original Master Sword is 24 inches, I mean 25 inches long on the blade and 36 inches long in total, the handle and stuff. But me and my papa were like, uh, let's, let's not do that because that's kind of not right. Because it didn't look like the picture that we had. So. Not, not the inches. So anyway, here it is. Uh, well, not finished, but I'm going to have this finished. Uh, yeah, so I'll uh, unpause the video when I have it uh, uh, scribbled on the cardboard. So here I traced it out. Uh, took the marker. That's the marker I used. I don't really suggest marker. I would rather suggest spray paint. I mean, you're going to go over it with construction paper anyway. So don't worry about it, you know, not looking good. But if you want to, you can get technical and just spray paint it blue. And then go from there. I do not suggest that. I just suggest you going over... Uh, tracing it and doing it my way. Although, you can do it your way if you want. Uh... Yeah. Anyway, um, I'm going to start cutting it out. When I'm done cutting it out, I will return to the video. Okay, guys. So I have got the other piece cut out. <clears throat> like I said, take a marker and trace it out and stuff. Here we go. Here are the two pieces. But right here, we have the two pieces. All right. So here. Like I said, the Master Sword. I showed you at the beginning of the video. So this is how it's going to be. Um, <laughs> hold it down, whatever. It's right here. But, um, see that. Okay, so let's measure this. And we shall be done with that. Okay, so I'm unpausing the video now. Uh, right here, 
is the strip that I cut out. And I'm about to tape it to these. Now, I might run out of time, and I'll probably have to continue this tomorrow if I run out of time tonight. I probably will. I only have an hour left till I have to go to bed. Yeah, I'll probably have to finish this tomorrow. So, yeah. Hmm. Um. I'm gonna bring my charger out here real quick. So, like, the video doesn't really quit on me while I'm doing it. <clears throat> so, I'm gonna go grab my charger. Got it. Okay. So, plug it in. Okay. Plug my phone in. Yeah. Um. I might just film this part, taping it, cause like if I hit close, then it's gonna ruin the video. Mom, do you think I could actually add videos to each other? Hmm. Eh, this will probably be a part one. But. Oh, it, it let me close it without it stopping. Okay, I'm going to pause the video and tape it together. Hey guys, um, I'm going to end, I'm, I'm going to end this video as part one. Um, you can watch part two. Just go on this profile and look for part two. Um, this is how far I got. Um, by the way, you want to leave a little bit off right here, just in case you add the gemstone to your sword. Because basically you really do need to, but it's your choice. Um, yeah, hang on. See, this way, when you add on to the other part, since cardboard can bend back, um, that can bend back a little bit. Um, if you want, you could just chop it off and then end up with that. Anyway, so here's how it's going to go in. Uh, right there. And yeah, this concludes part one. Um, have a good night, you guys. Uh, it is 8.44 my time. And I have to go put up my laundry. So, see you guys tomorrow, possibly. Or whenever I can finish to get part two. Alright, we'll see you guys later.